Welcome back, guys, for a playthrough of Pokemon Gold. We are in the endgame now. Uh, we've arrived in Kanto. We defeated uh, Vermilion Gym Leader Lieutenant Surge. And now I believe we have to go to Saffron for uh, Sabrina. Let's take a look and just do a little bit of browsing around. I want to see what's going on over here. There's not a whole lot going on in Kanto. All the uh, trainers have sort of moved on. These routes and whatnot are pretty barren and empty. Although there was that guy to my right. Let's see what's going on here. I want to see if I can go to Cerulean. Oh, no, we can't. The road is closed until the problem at the power plant is solved. Oh, so I brought up the power plant before. Wondering what exactly we could do there, but it looks like there is a plot there. So what is this for? Is there a hidden item up here? I have a feeling. Why would you put this little walkway path here if there was no reason for it? I don't know. I'm not finding any luck. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, but you know what I mean? This looks like, just looks like uh, there would be something there. I don't know. So I'm assuming, oh, they did it here too. Well, maybe there's something on this side. Let's find out. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, whatever, I give up. Let's see what the excuse is for blocking this. What's going on here? They didn't stop me. What's the deal here? Welcome to Saffron City, home of the Magnet Train. That's what I normally say, but the Magnet Train isn't running now. It's not getting any electricity because there's something wrong with the power plant. That's right, of course. Okay, so before, I remember when we were playing Red, Blue, and Yellow, specifically Yellow is the most recent one, is that we went from Cerulean to Vermilion. But you have the underground path, which is really, really long. It's the equivalent of Saffron. So it's not that it's not that Cerulean immediately takes like a turn right into Vermilion. Saffron is in between it. That's right. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's what we're here for. Let's take a look and tour, I guess. That's what we're going to do. We're going to tour Saffron now, and then we're going to take on Sabrina after the fact. You came out from Jodo? You can zip back home if the Magna train's running. Thanks, dude. I like how this sprite is bald. Like, there's no reason for it. He just is. Mr. Psychic's house. I don't have a need for that anymore, but we might as well get the TM if he can give it to us. I've got it. You wanted this. Yeah, there's no one really that uh, can offer us. Yeah, there's no one on the team that can learn Psychic that I really care to teach it to, so... Just save that for now. Also, too, just as kind of a reminder while we're walking around town, I am currently on the countdown to hitting 10,000 subscribers at the time of this recording. It is... <clears throat> I dramatically look at my watch. It is Monday, July 10th, 2023. And at this point, right now, at 3.43 in the p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I have 9,996 subscribers. Four away. Very excited about this. Hot tea. Too hot. But uh, I'm watching it. I've got a little counter here that I'm keeping an eye on right now that shows me on my live subscriber count. And I know numbers aren't everything, but for me, this number is everything on my mind right now. Mainly because... It's a huge milestone for me. 10,000 subscribers on YouTube is no easy feat, and I'm here to celebrate it and share that with you guys. So I thought this was a building. I thought he was just like walking on the wall. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm keeping an eye on it. Uh, the numbers have been going up quite a bit throughout the day, so I'm just watching it now. I don't know if we'll hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this video, but it's possible. I'm keeping an eye on it. YouTube doesn't update everything like perfectly live, so the numbers aren't 100% accurate right now, but they usually fluctuate and level out throughout the day, so I'll keep an eye on it. This video probably won't be long, but Saffron's a big city, so we'll see how much there is to do here. Anyway. There's a place called Trainer House in Viridian where trainers gather from all over the place. How useful. What do you got to say? I want to talk to everybody and see what's going on. This is Silfco, famous for Pokemon merchandise. In the past, Team Rocket wanted the company because of that. Okay. I don't know what we can do in here, but might as well take a look. Welcome. This is Silfco's head of office building. So as a reminder, the general focus of the video is obviously to take on, uh, interesting, Saffron gym leader Sabrina, but what does she say? Only employees are permitted to go upstairs, but since you came such a long way, have this neat little souvenir. Oh, the upgrade for Porygon. I wonder, I kind of want to do like the walkthrough walls cheat and see where that takes us. I'm very curious as to like what is back there because I don't know if we're allowed to go through there. I don't know, I'm curious. I've got a feeling there could be something interesting. I'm, I'm curious, let's look this up. I want to see if there's anything in there. Let's see, Silfco Gen 2. Let's just see what it says. Looking 
through, looking through. Okay, Silphco is a leading manufacturer of Pokemon tech. This company develops some most commercially used Pokeballs and several other Pokemon related items, including medicine and tech machines, uh, looking for ways to improve them. It supplies Pokemarts of its territory. Its president is a kind old man. In Gen 1 games, da -da 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 -da. Interesting. In the Gen 1 games Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, Scientist Taylor mentions an international branch of Silphco. In English, he states that the Tixie branch of the company is in Russian no man's land. In the Japanese version, he states that the Honaya Tunguska branch is located deep in Russia. Honaya appears to be a shortened term of the transliterated name something something that's too hard to pronounce in the english version of pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee taylor instead mentions having been sent off to the boondocks removing the real life reference in japanese the references to uh onaya is kept but the place is not mentioned to be located in russia anymore uh gen one gen, okay in Gen 2 and Gen 4, Silphco has increased security and the player is not allowed to enter the upper floors. One of the guards will kindly give the player the upgrade for talking to him. Heart, gold, and soul, silver. Interesting. So it might just be a dead room. I kind of want to see it. I kind of want to enter this cheat and see what it is. Let me see if I can find this real fast. Uh, what do you look for? Gold, cheat, walk through walls? I just want to see if it does anything. I don't know. I don't want to break the game and mess with that, actually. I, I'm very curious, though. I just want to know, like, is it possible there's anything actually behind there? I'm dying to know. Maybe after I beat the game, I'll come back here and take a look at it and see. Because I, re I really just want to know, like, what's it, what's back there? Is that door functional? Are those stairs functional? Is there something actually there? I don't know. A lot of players, uh, like, I wouldn't say hackers, but people that wanted to know more about, like, what the Pokemon games were hiding beyond like corridors, walls, and other like land masses, have used the walkthrough walls cheats to kind of inspect the game and find hidden assets and other unique things that were later abandoned. One thing that I found in game development, just by reading about it, I'm not a developer by any means, is that a lot of times game companies and developers and engineers and stuff will create certain, certain assets for a game with plans to use the assets, obviously, and they will build out and structure out everything, blah, 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 blah. and then later if that content gets scrapped or cut or removed, uh, they what they do is they just kind of leave it off in, in I guess just that Silphco thing that we're reading in no man's land basically um, because it, it's more difficult to spend time removing it and extracting everything those assets like deploy into the game it, it takes money and resources and time to remove it all so they just hide it instead mask it move it off to the side or just kind of leave it in a place where the player can't go so therefore you um don't run into it or discover it but players have and it's very interesting but anyway a little girl who's an expert at mimicking people lives here she even mimics the people she's conversing with it's confusing yeah she teaches you the tm for mimic my daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the na nickname Copycat around here. That would be so annoying, dude. I would have to kick my daughter out if she was like that. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. But seriously. She would go to boarding school immediately. I promise you that right now. There's no way I'd have a daughter that would just mimic everything and everyone. That would drive me absolutely nuts. But like, you need to go to therapy and boarding school. Ugh. My daughter is so self-centered. She only has a few friends. Yeah, that's, see, that doesn't really sound all that healthy, does it? She was really good. Hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Mm, quit mimicking. But that's my favorite hobby. I think she gives you mimic after you give her like a Pokeball or something, or Poke Doll or something like that. I don't know. I was joking about the kicking the daughter out thing. I have a feeling that you guys might take that seriously. I was just kidding. Not a big deal. I wouldn't do that. Going in an alley for the first time makes me sort of anxious. Coolsies. Is the fighting dojo still here? Do we get Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan as well? Bang the train station. Interesting. Shining golden land of commerce, huh? Our city was featured on a radio program. It's nice to hear praise for your city, but it's a bit embarrassing too. Okay. Both gyms are up and running. I went to the gym, raring for battles against trainers. It turns out, I stumbled into the unused gym next door. Oh, 
I was pretty embarrassed. Oh, that's too bad. I wonder what happened. I hear there's big trouble brewing at the Poke power plant. Huh. All right, well, let's go take a look and see what's going on at that empty gym to the left. I want to know what's going on with this. Everyone welcome, Fighting Dojo. Hello, Karate King, the Fighting Dojo's master, is in a cave in Johto for training. Oh, what's this? Oh, the focus band, okay, for fighting Pokemon. Interesting. So, like, it is empty, there's, like, nobody here. But you can battle you. Huh. Is it weird that I put on chapstick during a video? I feel like it might be. I tell you, man, talking as much as I do sometimes. Lips get dry, baby. Alright, let's see. Saffron City Pokemon Gym Leader Sabrina, the master of psychic Pokemon. I haven't really ran into a lot of dark type Pokemon. I don't think I've seen any. Oh, except for Umbreon. Um, let's see. Scissor Ampharos Kingdra for it. Let's just keep out Espeon. I think Espeon should be fine. I need the money anyway. Oh, we have the teleporting pads as well. What does it say here? Saffron City Pokemon Gym. Yo, champion making! A trainer as skilled as you doesn't need to be told how to deal with psychic type Pokemon, right? I expect great things from you. Good luck. There's a lot of trainers here we're gonna have to fight, huh? The power of all those you defeated comes to me. Don't know exactly what to say to that, but that's fine. This old lady is tripping. Lady and Rebecca sent out Drowsy. What level are the Pokemon at? 35, that's not bad. Let's see, let's side beam these guys. Not very effective. Dang. We're so far ahead of it too, and it just didn't... Wow, 17 levels and it still wasn't enough to... Ugh, take it out. That's right, we got full restores and junk. I'm so anxious right now. I keep on looking at like all the stats on my channel, just trying to wait for it to grow. I've got some YouTube shorts that have been bringing in some new, uh, some new subs, which is really cool. I don't know, people love shiny Pokemon, man. It's a lot of fun um, making those and put them all together, but it's tough being like the judge of the concepts in that, because like I'm talking a lot about like shiny Pokemon and other things that are good and bad, like, here are the top 10 elemental shinies of this, you know, this type and whatever. Here's top 10, you know, of this thing or whatever. And then now I'm running through the, like, top 10 worst, which is like, I don't know, if I'm being completely honest, it's not necessarily the top 10 worst, it's just 10 of the worst, but top 10 worst sort of is more of a an eye-catching thing. Um, but some of them are doing quite well. I need to heal up in a second, I know that, but... I have one that I did the top 10 worst fire type shinies, which I think is, is starting to get a lot of traction. And then today, at the, well, at least, sorry, not today, but at the time of recording this, because I've recorded a bunch of videos all back to back to back to back, but at the time of recording this video, because I'm doing a whole bunch all at once, I launched the uh, top 10 electric type, or top 10 worst electric type. And, uh, and that one's getting a lot of attention right now, too, which is what I got the boost in subs for. It's not it's not a lot, but it's some. Um, let's go ahead and full heal. All right. I know there's some sort of logic to all this, but... The fighting dojo next door was once the city's gym. A long time ago, before the events of Gen 1. I'm, like, nursing a migraine right now that I had. Oh, man, my head... It's like behind the eyes, like the temple is like really tight and I can feel a muscle pull like behind the eyes and it's like, it's killing me. Poof. I don't know if you guys ever get migraines, but I'm telling you right now, like it is not a good time at all. I can feel like all the tension in my eyes and like in the bones around my eyes. The socket here. Oh. I'm trying to do my best to like maintain my composure while I'm recording the video because I'm sure you guys don't care about my migraine problems. But, uh, it hurts, man. It hurts. Psychic-type Pokemon resorting in a double slap. Come on. 
still, you look at Mr. Mime's hands, dude. Those things are disgust. No thank you, dude. Disgusting hands. Disgusting. Disgusting. You know what? Let's switch. Let's mix it up a little bit. <laughs> Face a legendary. See how that works? I forgot. I actually thought I had Growlithe on my team, but... Man. I do wonder just how long it would have taken... To get a shiny. Oh, oh. It would have been cool to have, but... At the same time, like... I don't know. I would just... <sighs> taking so much time, I wouldn't even want to deal. I just want to blow through these really quickly. I just want to get to Sabrina. This is going to be a longer video. A lot of... So, the past several some odd videos that I've made have just been on, like, the Elite Four battles, which didn't take very long. And the gym trainers. Uh, well, first one is Lieutenant Surge, I guess. But uh, now, it just seems like... This one was a little bit longer because Saffron's kind of a big place. There we go. Well done. Alright. Let's see what's next. Oh, there's not a lot of trainers here. Interesting. Every single one of these little rooms should have had a trainer, but not this time. Psychic power is the power of your soul. I feel like my soul is weak. I wouldn't have enough, like, strength to pick up a pencil. Find her eventually. I'm just gonna keep walking. <laughs> I'm like going in circles now. Oh, hey, we didn't fight you yet, Gran. I see it clearly. I can see into your soul. Okay, y'all need to stop worrying about my soul. Okay. Can't see nothing. Seriously, how did you live? We are so much stronger than you. 19 levels ahead. Aw, oh, you... Whatever. I keep looking at this. 9,996. This is so exciting, you guys. Like, I am so stoked on this. Once I finally hit that subscriber total, that I'm... Once I hit that... Sorry. Once I hit the 10,000, rather. Once we get there, I'm gonna do a... I'm gonna do a celebratory video, and then we're gonna do a live stream as well. I'm just, I don't know, there's just so much to be thankful for with this channel. I'm so stoked right now. This is so cool. I never thought I would get there. Never thought it would happen. It's freaking excellent. It's so freaking exciting. Swift enough to knock it out. I read you, I still lost. Alright, let's full restore this. We gotta be getting close to Sabrina here. Come on. There you are, baby. Sabrina is also one of the most gorgeous Pokemon trainers in all of Pokemon, I'm telling you right now. Lorelai, Karen, Sabrina, Erica, mm. Agatha. That's my number one right there. Gilf all day. I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling. 
but it's my duty as a leader to confer badges on anyone who has proven him or herself worthy. Since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. Interesting. I wonder... Huh. I wonder why she had that vision. Mainly in that I... Oh, okay. She's... Oh, crap. <laughs> I gotta be on my game here. Okay, let's focus. Um, I do wonder, like, if there was something relating to Red with that. Yeah, Espeon... Sand attack. You grow your Espeon to level 46 and you keep sand attack? I don't know, maybe there's a strategy there that I just don't... I can't comprehend, but that just seems a little bit weird. She gonna okay i thought she was gonna try and heal it espion is such a beautiful sprite in this game i i like this espion sprite more than any other in pokemon but i also really like this one compared to the shiny one i think this i think the normal espion sprite here looks better than the shiny in my opinion don't get me wrong i love the green alien shiny it's so good but this just feels i don't know it just looks so freaking good Come on. That sand attack is really getting me. Unless reflect? No. There it is. Smike can take the hit and he can dish it back. Ugh, it's creepy. Ugh. Gross. Mr. Mime is just so disgusting. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. Alright. Who's next? Who's her final? Good. Alakazam. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Alakazam looks really cool. Part of me thinks that maybe it might have been wise to have Alakazam on the team instead of Espeon and then had Umbreon for a dark type. I don't know who I would have subbed out. I kept Scizor just because I like him, but I think overall the only thing that he has like a real use for is False Swipe. Furret is sort of just taking up a slot. I love Furret so much, but as far as a battler for strength, it's not really... All that great there. Bam, baby. Sabrina, give it up, son. How much money are you going to give me? Your power. It far exceeds what I foresaw. Maybe it isn't possible to fully predict what the future holds. Okay, you win. You earn yourself the Marsh Badge. Awesome. Marsh Badge draws out your subliminal powers. Although I failed to accurately predict your power, this much I know to be true. You will become a celebrated and beloved champion. Alright, let's see if I can get the heck out of here. Does dig work? I feel like I'm getting close to the exit. Hey, we got it. Very nice. Alright, let's go heal up and we'll uh, wrap up this episode of the playthrough. Thank you guys for watching. We will continue with more Pokemon Gold tomorrow. Where we take on the next gym leader. I forget who's next, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. Where's the freaking Pokemon? Isn't it over here? Yeah, it is. Alright. If you enjoyed this episode of the playthrough, you can show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links there that might be of interest to you. One of which is a link to the Mark9 Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. There's also a link to... Um, well, there's a bunch of links to socials and stuff and other things there, but honestly, most of the links are probably going to take you to a social platform that I don't even use now that I think about it. I uh, I have a lot of links in the description box that take you to different places that I have my official accounts, but like, to 
be honest, if you just want to talk to me, hit me up in the comments section, hit me up in the community section of YouTube, or just come and join the Discord. Like, I kind of feel like I just don't need to promote anything else anymore because I'm not a fan of social media, so forget, whatever. The links are there, there's a subreddit down there, there's a Twitter down there, but I don't really do anything with any of those, so. Anyway, whatever. Join the Discord, be part of the conversation, at me anytime, I'm very active there. That's probably the best place to get a hold of me if you want to, like, you know, engage in conversation or some sort of feedback of any kind, but uh, nonetheless, I appreciate your time while we're getting through this uh, end game content of Pokemon Gold, and I hope to see you when we continue with more of that uh, down the line. We're so close to hitting our 10,000 subscriber count, and I'll keep you up to date on that as well, because we're going to celebrate all that stuff together. I'm very excited. But anyway, that's it for me, guys. Take care of yourselves, be well, and I will see you next time when we continue with more Pokemon Gold. All right, later.